When we cut ourselves, we usually bleed for a while and eventually the bleeding stops as a clot forms. This is possible because our blood contains a number of so-called clotting factors. Clotting factors are chemicals, mostly produced by our liver, which stick to each other and to the walls of injured blood vessels to form a clot. This then stops the flow of blood. Obviously, when we injure ourselves, this is a good thing. But in some people, the blood is too sticky. It clots too easily. When this happens, there can be blockages in the circulation. This means that parts of the body do not receive the oxygen and nutrients that they need to work properly. When this happens, it can be a serious problem, like in the heart, leading to a heart attack, or in the brain, leading to a stroke. In order to protect these people, doctors can use drugs called anticoagulants. These are drugs that make the blood less sticky again. The most well-known anticoagulant is warfarin. Warfarin is a tablet that makes our liver less good at producing clotting factors. The liver needs vitamin K to make clotting factors, and warfarin works by decreasing the activity of vitamin K. Thus, it reduces the rate at which the liver can produce clotting factors. Because warfarin affects the production of new clotting factors, but doesn't do anything to the clotting factors already in our circulation, it takes a few days for warfarin to have an effect when it's first started. This is why we wait for the existing clotting factors to reach the end of their lifespan. The right dose can vary for different people and at different times. This is why patients on warfarin need to have very frequent blood tests. Warfarin is now sometimes replaced with something called a NOAC. NOAC stands for Novel Oral Anticoagulant and it includes drugs such as rivaroxaban and apixaban. NOACs are a group of medications which don't affect the production of new clotting factors, but instead they attach themselves to the already existing clotting factors in our circulation and they stop them from sticking to each other and causing inappropriate blood clots. As a result, NOACs work almost straight away, and the same dose fits almost all patients. This means that unlike with warfarin, patients do not need repeated blood tests. Current evidence suggests that NOACs are more effective and safer in some patients than warfarin. But unlike with warfarin, NOACs do not currently have an antidote in case of overdose. As every patient is different, doctors will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of each drug before deciding which treatment to prescribe.